We are continuing our coverage tonight on a housing shortage in the Blaine County area that has been worsened by the pandemic. Idaho News 6 reporter Jake Brazil shares the stories of three displaced Ketchum residents and what has led them to look to their local government for help. Over the weekend, organizers say around 150 people attended a rally in Ketchum Town Square for one purpose, to demand action be taken to improve workforce and affordable housing in Blaine County. What we heard that our people are getting displaced today, people are having eviction notices where they might lose their housing within the next month or two. With houses being bought by out of state individuals with more capital and many landlords ending leases to sell at top dollar or proposing drastic rent increases, people like Reed Stillman. When my lease runs up in September 1st, I honestly have no idea where I'm going. D Towner. Some people don't have two years to wait to, to find a place to live. And Rosanna McCauley. I am currently displaced. I am um, moving around to wherever I can find friends to take me in. Are running out of options. Unless everyone comes together and presents solutions and can compromise and meet in the middle, we're not going to get anywhere. We're going to lose our businesses. We're going to lose our community. And I know that's extreme to say, but it's the truth and somebody has to say it. Following the rally, organizers have decided that immediate action needs to be taken and will be calling on their city council for an emergency meeting to come up with some workable solutions. I have friends who are sleeping in their cars, camping, sleeping on friends' couches. They really have nowhere to go. The city of Ketchum is currently working to get a 56 unit housing development built known as Bluebird Village, but that project could take years. We need an immediate action to see what we can do for the people that are getting this place now. In Ketchum, Jake Brazil, Idaho News 6. In other news tonight, it 